Okay, so here's what we're gonna try here. We have an Eloise on this account with a crown, granted, splendid crown. Attack HP stone, um, not gear actually synergized for her just yet. We're not gonna worry about that. And V4, we even got a skin for her. And what we're going to test to see is if Isla Mock is a good hero as a first transcendence. I can't even soul awaken her copy, I don't think. No. Nope. Uh, we were able to get some of her house built, as you guys can see right here. Is very much a very early game account. So, and yeah, we don't have any more soul symbols, so we can't do any swapping or anything like that, regressing, sadly. So, is what it is. Um, if we did have some more, which we might over the weekend, we might just swap the field into our Jara copies and have another 10 star tenant. Don't know how much that's gonna help, but you know, it kind of is what it is. And MK with the raid with 110, man. Thank you so much. Everybody with the raid hype. So, we're testing to see. If you can go the Eloise route, but instead of building Vesa, does this hero provide enough support? Because as we know, uh, this ability is ridiculously strong right here. The ally blocking successfully, giving shields and stuff, uh, that's exactly what Eloise does. He's at 123%. She is at what? 95, which is a little under. We are running an attack HP stone. I think that's what we're gonna try. And what's up, everybody's saying hi. How you guys doing? Uh, let's try this out. So we of course need to wait for Void Vortex, sadly. But what we can do is we can try to do campaign because we have yet, this is the old scary account you guys know. So we're gonna see how this works with an Eloise. I don't know how it is gonna work, <laughs> but maybe, just maybe this is gonna work. <laughs> we'll see. What we really enjoyed is the fact that he has a ton of CC and a ton of survivability with his shield abilities. Every time um, we block, okay, can you block? Can you block? Can you block? Eloise, um, I think you forgot to do that thing called blocking. I kind of like him, yeah. He's, he's an interesting hero. I think what we need to do is we need to go chuck a block stone on her so the cool thing is with the shielding the shield is affected by isla mox attack not the hero receiving the shield which is pretty cool but that also means he needs to be one of your most powerful heroes and you can see how strong the shield is much stronger than if you had a fairy queen vest in my opinion and it does also heal at the end of it and it might have some potential because this is looking pretty smooth considering we're going up against one of those really difficult uh, Garuda waves. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to test Vortex this weekend um, because his stun chance is extremely high. And one thing he also has is a synergy kind of sort of with the Phoenix monster as well. Yeah, we just need a ton of testing, it's true. I mean, it looks promising, though, because we were struggling. Like, by himself, he is not good. If you do not have an Eloise, I will 100% already say, do not build this hero as your first Transcendence hero. Um, I kind of do want to change your stone up, though. I want to get, like, a block stone as well. HP block? Yeah, we'll just we'll just grab that for now. That way she's got a higher block chance. That way if the enemy does have some precision and Isla Mock can't get rid of it, uh, at least then he has a better chance. Block team seems like a very strong meta potentially. He is giving her some block as well, yes. Uh, he is giving his team an insane amount of survivability. Mainly the Eloise, as you can see her shield bar, like she just hasn't taken any regular damage. She's just sitting at 100% shield. <laughs> oh my god. Panda instead of the queen. Wait, do I have a panda on this account? I honestly could not tell you. Let, let, let's see. Do we ha did you say, do we have a panda? No, we don't have a panda. I don't think we can build a panda on this account. This account, again, was the old scary account. <laughs> Very sketchy account, I'll say that. We've done a lot of switches and stuff in the process, but I wanted to show you guys some content. 
of what it would look like if you have a very improper early game team. And honestly, I might want to do this on the next free to play series. The five star panda is just going to die instantly. But his damage is a non zero amount of damage. And he does have a really cool, like, stun synergy, too, where he just he has a very high chance to stun the enemy. And when you sublime him out, it would be absolutely disgusting. Look at this. Look at this. I don't think Vesta could do the same thing in this situation. What do you guys think? Chat. MK viewers. Everybody. I like the hero so far. He's not a pure damage dealer. He's not a pure support. He's this weird in-between, and he does both things pretty good. Seems pretty good with Eloise. And honestly, building a panda on this account would probably just make it even better. I'm so happy I had this account to test on. Because this is the perfect example of like, what, month like... Honestly, you'd probably have a better account than this at about, about like 5 when you build your first Transcendence Hero. Um, because our star spawn suck, our tenant suck, everything about it sucks. He seems really good though. To be honest, he seems to outperform even a not or a Mockman early game void campaign. I think he's a good replacement for Eloise in the Fairy Queen Vesta build and add a panda. I was raving about on MK stream a night. I think you're hundred percent correct on that. He's my favorite looking hero. Oh, he looks amazing. I will 100% agree with that. He's Dante, man. He's just, we're just going to call him Dante. But yes, he is absolutely garbage by himself in C-Land 21+. Plus. Just a reminder, his basic attack does like no damage. And in Fortress C-Land, when you're going against those shadow heroes, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about those shadow heroes is they have Gustin's ability. So each one of them lowers his energy by 30, like every single round. So he just never gets inactive and it's garbage. Yeah. What's up, Denny? What's going on, man? Denny with the VIP as well. Yep. I mean, this seems like an unkillable combo. Honestly, I might just let this run tonight and see if we get all the way to the void campaign with this combo. Who do you reckon he will be best paired with for a transcendence? That is interesting. Does anybody else have any type of block synergy out of the transcendence heroes? He's the Ryan Reynolds of idle heroes. Good Lord. Yeah, he is garbage seal and 20 plus. Like he cannot do it by himself. Front row Mockman? Front no Mockman's kind of interesting. Sword flashes. Ooh, what? no. Phantom of the Fire Atlanta and Mystic Fairy Freya would be very bad choices because we don't want them to dodge. We need them to block. First A copy of him on display with Giant Killer. Yeah, I heard it's like 80,000 or something like that. He might be good in Star Expedition because he hits a ton of times when you have him fully sublimed out so i can't wait to the next star expedition hopefully somebody gets a giant killer copy of him and we can test it out with yeah with sword flash i think he would be amazing in sea land so maybe building sword flash as a second transcendence might be the play I hope this drops Vesa A tier prices. It might. Like I said, it might be a go-to hero. You never know. <laughs> this is an unkillable Eloise. Uh, I think it's safe to say when it comes to like campaign and probably even Void Vortex. I don't know. Final decision in chat, guys. Type right now. If you guys are watching, there's over 200 of you right now. Do you think this is better performance than Fairy Queen Vesa as a first transcendence when you go the Eloise route? And again, this is a very crappy version of the Eloise route. So leave, leave a comment up there and then everybody on YouTube, leave a comment down there. I want to know your guys' opinions because again, building a panda after this as well sure seems like it because this essentially makes your Eloise unkillable. I think that's the verdict for the night.